The first step to making your desk organizer is going to make your cam.com. File, open SVG, and open the file you downloaded from the site. You can go to the minus sign in the corner to zoom out, grab your piece and drag it to the origin. You can zoom back in with the plus sign, use the hand to uh, move around, and click back to the cursor to begin highlighting. So we're going to start um, with this profile operation. So cam, profile operation, our tool diameter is 0.125. Our target depth is the depth of the material, which is negative 0.76 for this piece of bamboo. Safety height, 0.125. Step down, 0 0.03125. Feed rate of 30 and plunge rate of 10. These settings are going to stay pretty consistent. So we're going to do another profile operation for the card holder. Name it something you'll remember because you want you want to be able to tell them all apart. Uh, the tool diameter remains the same, 0.125. The target depth is the same, negative 0.76. Safety height is the same. Your step down, feed rate, and plunge rate are all the same as before. And those are pretty good settings for bamboo with a dual drive upgraded Shapeoko. So another profile operation. Again, this is going to be exactly the same. Name it something you'll remember. 0.125 is a standard bit that comes with the Shapeoko. Um, safety height, step down, feed rate, and plunge rate are the same. So next we're going to, we're going to deal with our pockets. So we're going to start with this pocket, pocket operation, name it something you'll remember, and then our tool diameter is going to be the same, but our target depth is going to be different. We don't want it to go all the way through the material, so negative 0.6 will be like great, um, but the safety height, step down, feed rate, and plunge rate are all the same. So really for the pockets, you're just changing your target depth. So again, um, we're going to set these to be the same as, as the previous pocket. You can choose to do um, these three uh, slots for the cards separately. I'm going to do them as one operation to save on time um, doing the cam, but it'll actually take longer during the cut. I'm not that concerned with time, so that's fine with me, but if you want to optimize your cutting uh, speed, you would want to do each one of these passes, each one of these rectangles separately, and each one of the circles for the pen holder separately too. Okay, so like I was saying before, I'm going to do these in one um, profile, one pocket operation, excuse me, um, but you can choose to do them all separately, um, and it would save you some time during the cut. So the tool diameter is 1.25 again. Um, I'm going to have these go through the material. You can have them not go through the material and just change your target depth. Uh, safety hits the same. Step over, uh, just keep it at 40 for all of them. Um, Step down is the same. Feed rate and plunge rate were the same as before. So now all of your uh, operations are done. Hit calcu calculate all, and then you're going to be able to see how the bit will travel. That's what those little lines are showing you, your tool paths. So now we need to add tabs to your profile so they don't move around when they get cut free from the material. So our tabs are going to be every two inches. Let's make a um, tab that's 0.125 around. So this kind of gave you five tabs. You can move them around and delete them. Um, probably don't need five. Maybe uh, three or four will work. Just try to place them in a in a way that uh, makes sense to you. And again, tabs are really important to put on every profile, so it doesn't come free when the when it, the machine cuts it out. Um, it'll save your material from getting messed up and your bit and machine from getting messed up. So I think I'm pretty good with uh, three three tabs on each. Try to put them in like a triangle formation. Could be good uh, for stability. And these tabs are pretty small, but for a harder wood, um, that should be good because they're pretty. It's a dense material. So now you, that you're all set, go to export G code. Hit profiles last because um, you want uh, all of your profiles to cut out last. Um, if you want something to cut before something else, you can highlight it um, and hit the plus sign to move it up. Highlight it all and export the selected toolpaths. 
name it something you'll remember, and then our next step is to secure your material and then upload it uh, into your G-code sender.